the more work you do on graphs, the more familiar we'll get with the different sorts of things that can happen. And it's really useful to have that familiarity, so when you do a problem, you sort of get a feel for whether you've got the right sort of thing or not in your answer. So in this video, I just want to go through a few sort of the standard t sorts of graphs and to think about uh, what you get in different cases. So first one, we've thought about straight lines, y equals mx plus c, and here we've got um, m equals 1 and c equals 1, so this is at the moment, this is just for these numbers substituted in here. So y equals one x plus one. So y equals x plus one. M being the m being the gradient. Remember, so as I increase m, this line gets steeper. And as I decrease m, it gets shallower. M equals zero. There, special case, y equals one, and then negative gradients getting steeper and steeper as m changes. And c uh, was the y-intercept. So again, if I increase c, uh, this graph goes up the page, and as I decrease c. Um, it it comes down the page. looks looks like it's moving a bit diagonally, I suppose, or, or across even. But you know, we're thinking of it as this sort of point on the y axis coming down the page. Next one here. Then we've got y equals uh, x squared. It's a curved graph. Goes through the origin. Just that one turning point there at the bottom, and it's totally symmetric about the y axis. Um, now, uh, we can get some similar graphs to this by changing the equation slightly. So here I'm just adding on a constant. So here I've got x squared plus a constant. So this is x squared plus 1. And as I increase that constant, this graph goes up the page. But it still basically still basically looks the same. You could even add in a, a plus bx term here. So now I've got, you know, a b is 1 here. So this is y equals x squared plus x. Or I could do x squared plus 2x, x squared plus 3x. And we uh, uh, x squared minus x minus 2x. We can see we basically still end up with the same sort of shape. And even if I change the number in front of the uh, x squared uh, to be something other than 1, so here we've got you know, y equals 3x squared, again they look kind of the same sort of shape but we just get slightly different values and I could you know, change all of uh, a, b and c um, you know, to different values and so anything in that form just ax squared plus bx plus c, so it might be 5x squared plus 3x plus 2, or here we've got 2x squared plus 3x plus 1, um, will be in that same sort of form. And the other thing we should think about for the quadratic case is what happens if we have uh, a being negative, then we get a slightly different picture, well, that's the same sort of thing, so if I change a to minus 3, the whole thing uh, flips upside down, but it's still you know, essentially the same, uh, the same sort of uh, shape that we had before. Um, that y equals minus x squared, uh, like that, and as we change b and c uh, and a, this just moves around a bit. So either we've got something that looks like uh, this for a quadratic, or something that looks like uh, this, possibly shifted around the page and stretched a bit. We can make this more complicated, we could add a cubic term on the front. And what happens with, the, with a cubic term is that we now might have two uh, bumps in it here, we've got a uh, sort of maximum and a minimum here, uh, but they look sort of uh, a bit like this, we could, um, you know, they, they might also look, uh, you know, like this. They could start at the top and go to the bottom, or start at the bottom and go to the top. Uh, so sort of, it's a curve with a, a couple of bumps in it. And the sort of simplest form of one of those is just y equals x cubed, with no other terms. And there, the two bumps are sort of condensed into one sort of point here we call an inflection. Um, and that's the graph of y equals uh, x cubed. The graph of y equals minus x cubed looks quite similar. Other sorts of graphs we've come across, y equals 1 divided by x, and we've got a reciprocal graph that's in two pieces, uh, looks a bit like that. If I change the uh, constant, so it's not 1 over x, but something else, again, they, they look kind of similar, they get a bit further away from the origin, but if we zoom out, uh, you see they're basically the uh, same sorts of graphs, um, but, uh, and if I make it negative, so uh, and then we just get the, the sections of the graphs appearing in different parts of the curve here. Or we could also have like, the graph of 1 over x squared, and that would look like this. x squared is always positive, so this graph is always above the, the axis here. Um, and if I made it minus 1 over x squared, then it would be uh, below the axis. There's all sorts of other things we can get here. x squared plus y squared equals something, gives you a, a circle. Here's y equals the square root of x, looks a bit odd at first, uh, but actually it's just the left-hand part of y, of, of, x, of y equals x squared, but flipped, where the axis flipped around. And actually, you know, the, the bottom half you could think of as being there as well, minus the square root of x, because you've got the positive and the negative square roots. But when we say square root, we just mean the, 
the positive one. Um, so all sorts of different graphs we can get. Um, and the purpose of this video was, you know, not necessarily to explain each of those graphs and how we how we get them. We've you know, done that in other videos, but just to give you a bit of an overview, um, to maybe help you get a bit of a feel for the types of graphs that you can get, um, to give you a bit of intuition about your uh, answers.